legal action in an horrific case of child abuse brought to light by five investigates. Three people have recently been criminally charged and today lawyers working with some of the children who lived in an Oxford foster home filed a civil lawsuit. Our Kathy Curran started working on this story two years ago and she joins us now with the update. Kathy. And Ben, according to the lawsuit, more than 40 foster children were cycled through the home of Ray and Sue Bluen throughout the years. The case filed today blames the Bluens, DCF, social workers and others for destroying many lives. This is a case where DCF dropped off foster children, some of the most vulnerable people in our society, in a house with predators who preyed on them for years. Attorney Erica Brody says the impact of what happened inside the licensed foster home of Ray and Sue Bluen decades ago still to this day has a devastating impact on the children who were tortured and abused there. Brody filed this 73 page lawsuit on behalf of several of the survivors of the Bluen's Oxford home. Someone call the cops! The devastation cannot be understated. The trauma is unimaginable. Five Investigates has worked with seven of the children who are now adults who survived the abuse to expose the failures of the state foster care system and the horror of what went on inside the walls of this home. The complaint details a litany of physical and sexual abuse the children say they endured for years and lays out the red flags warning of the horrific abuse missed time and time again by social workers, saying that as early as 1989, the Department of Children and Families was made aware that the Bluens were physically abusing children in their care. The state didn't believe these children. They didn't look through the home to see if people were being kept in dog cages, they didn't protect these children. Years later, the state received at least 11 reports alleging abuse in the Bluen home, but it wasn't until October of 2004 that the last child was removed. In the wake of our reporting exposing the failures of the system, a new criminal investigation was launched. Sue Bluen, her husband Ray, and her former boyfriend Philip Paquette are now accused of sexually assaulting two of the children. One child was allegedly raped by Paquette. We are calling on Charlie Baker, on DCF, and on the Commonwealth of Massachusetts to make sure this never happens to another child again. And an attorney for Sue Bluen declined to comment on the civil case. Her husband, Ray, denies any wrongdoing and says he was only criminally charged to help this lawsuit. DCF wouldn't comment, saying they hadn't seen the case. Kathy Carr and Five Investigates. Kathy